Hermetic law is a group of decrees about the astral and natural world that were observed by the ancient Egyptians and later during the Hellenistic period by the Platonian Greeks. The premise was pagan in nature and was popular before the onset of Christianity. It was at the core of Enoch, Moses, and Noah's beliefs. The observations became nos, or knowledge, for astrology, alchemy, and medicine. Of note is the Hermetic Corpus, a body of text composed between 100 and 300 A.D., exploring the combined premises of the Egyptian god Toth and the Greek priest and healer Asephius. Asephius observed and recommended healing for the five madnesses that plagued and disordered the emotional life of human beings. They include melancholy and depression, substance abuse, disappropriate passions, madness of the heart, and physical symptoms of emotional disorders. Healing was believed to be found in dreams and meditation. Cure was through nutrition, exercise, and cleanliness. Patients visited the clinics where priest healers lived and worked. Their dreams and inclinations were examined by a circle of hermetics who made recommendations based on a language of littoral, allegorical, and cultural symbolic definitions. In many ways, the Hermetics were the father of science and modern psychology. Asephius named several of his children after the therapeutic methods that he recommended. His daughter Hygieia was named for hygiene, while Panacea was named for a universal cure. His name has been synonymous with oath-taking, or the words, I swear, which is the beginning of the Hippocratic Oath. He's depicted as the bearded wise man holding the caduceus, or the staff entwined by one or two snakes. Snakes were thought to bring wisdom, and his clinics often had non-poisonous reptiles loose on the floor. Intellectual pagans during the 3rd to 7th century revitalized the old beliefs at the same time that Christianity blossomed in the Middle East. G.R.S. Mead compiled three volumes of Hellenistic Theosophy and Nas entitled Thrice Greatest Hermes in 1906, which is the foremost work on the ancient alchemy. Later, in 1946, the Dead Sea Scrolls were discovered in a series of 11 caves around the site known as Wadi Kura, near the Dead Sea in the west bank of the Jordan River, which collaborated that other philosophical groups, such as the Essenes, a second temple uh, Judaism sect, and other groups who believe Mary Magdalene taught hermetic awareness to the Christ and was a full disciple, also, the emerald tablet, the basic element in the Philosopher's Stone, was carved sometime during the 7th century. It's a piece of hermetic antiquity which is highly regarded by European, European alchemists, from which Isaac Newton founded most of his theories. Hermetical, hermetic principles of life, as written in text, consist of seven rules. They are the law of meditation, correspondence, vibration, polarity, rhythm, cause and effect, and gender. Comprehension of these principles will shed new light on how to communicate with self-consciousness and with others. The law of mentalism states that all is mind and that the universe is entirely mental. The principle explains that mind is the universe's common principle, its unique energy that is the essential force within the chemical composition of all things. Everything that you have in your mind you can manifest with the presence of the all-powerful being. All energy and at all levels is created and is subordinate to God. The law of correspondence says as above so below. That means that there's harmony and agreement between the physical, mental, and spiritual realms. That there is no separation, since everything in the universe, including you, originates from one source. The thought is that know thyself, and thou shalt know all the mysteries of the universe. 
The law of vibration tells us that nothing rests, everything is moving, it vibrates, that the whole universe is but a vibration. Science has confirmed this, that everything has a specific frequency and it moves at a certain time. The law of polarity tells us that everything is dual, everything has poles, everything has its pair of opposites, opposites that are identical in nature, but different in degree. It means that there are two sides to everything, that things that appear as opposites really are not. They're simply at a different pole. The law of rhythm states that everything flows, everything goes in and out, everything has tides, rises and falls. This principle can be seen in the waves of the ocean, in your heartbeat. Everything that goes forward must come back. Everything that comes back must go forward. We can learn to transcend the swing, but we need to understand the laws that pull us. The law of cause and effect states that every cause has an effect and that you can see the opposite anywhere you look in the world. Every one of your thoughts or actions has a specific effect in motion that will come to materialize over time. There's no such thing as chance or luck. And this law applies to all three levels of existence, the spiritual, the mental, and the physical, although it happens quickly in the spiritual and it takes a little bit of time to reach the physical. The law of gender tells us that gender is in everything, that everything has a masculine and feminine element. And this is evident throughout creation in all the sexes and all the electrons and magnetic poles. Everyone has the same qualities, both male and female. A list of metaphysicians and groups that still practice Hermetic Law were just listed. This is a crest of their ring. I'm Reverend Joe. Thanks for listening. Until next time.